very warm welcome to St. Paul's Cathedral, the home church for Anglicans in the province of Victoria for this choral evensong as we give thanks for the example of St. Peter and St. Paul, apostles and martyrs, people who gave their life in following Christ Jesus. This beautiful cathedral stands on the traditional lands of the Kulin nation, and I'd like to pay my respect to their elders, past, present, and emerging, and to Aboriginal people and Torres Strait Islanders who are engaging with our broadcast. You're warmly invited to follow our order of service, which is displayed on the cathedral website, and which you might download. Please, if you are responding, respond with the responses in bold print, and join in singing the hymn. Wherever you're joining us from this afternoon, may God richly bless you. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was on the very day. song verses 11 to 16 of Psalm 116, set to music by Emeritus Organist June Nixon. Timothy, starting at chapter 4. As for me, I am already being poured out as a libation, and the time of my departure has come. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. From now on, there is reserved for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. 
At my first defence, no one came to my support, but all deserted me. May it not be counted against them, but the Lord stood by me and gave me strength, so that through me the message might be fully proclaimed and all the Gentiles might hear it. So I was rescued from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil attack and save me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Here ends the first lesson.
He begins the 13th verse of the 16th chapter of the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Now when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, but others Elijah, and still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Then he sternly ordered the disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Messiah. Here ends the second lesson. Confess with me the faith of the Church in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. 
。アーメン Sing the anthem. Give us the wings of faith. Words by Isaac Watts. Set to music by Ernest Bullock.
Encouraged by our fellowship with Peter and Paul and all the saints, we make our prayers to the Father through our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, your Son Jesus called women and men to leave the past behind and to follow him as his disciples in the way of the cross. Look with mercy upon those whom he calls today, marks with the cross and makes his disciples within the church. And we pray particularly for those within the Anglican Church in the Northern Hemisphere who at this time are being ordained to the office of deacon or priest in the church. Your son Jesus told his disciples not to be afraid and at Easter breathed on them his gift of peace. Look with mercy upon this world into which he sent his disciples and give it that peace for which it longs. And in a moment of silent prayer, we bring before God a place or a situation longing for peace that is dear and important to us. Your son Jesus formed around him a company who were no longer servants but friends. And he called all those who obeyed him his brother and sister and mother. Look with mercy on our families and our friends and the communities in which we have a share, remembering particularly the life of faith of this cathedral church and family. Your son, Jesus, sent out disciples to preach and to heal the sick. Look with mercy on all who yearn to hear the good news of salvation and renew among your people the gifts of healing. And we pray particularly for all those engaged in combating the COVID pandemic the world over and within our own nation. Your son Jesus promised to those who followed him that they would sit on thrones, judging the twelve tribes, and would share the banquet of God's kingdom. According to your promise, look with mercy on all those who have walked with Christ in this life and now have passed through death. And we give thanks for our own departed loved ones, those whom we have known and see no longer and now know to be with Christ. Almighty God, you have built your church upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Jesus Christ himself as chief cornerstone. So join us together in unity of spirit by their doctrine, that we may be built into a holy temple, acceptable to you, for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
Amen. And we bless one another in the words of the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. I invite you to join at home in singing the hymn, if you are able, Let the World with Songs Rejoice. gracious mercy and protection we commit you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace, now and forevermore. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you and those for whom you pray, wherever they may be, this night and always. Amen.